If you've been missing the class tour in Dev Mule, don't worry, it's back. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 14 mods for you for all platforms of 8 new and 5 updates and PC and Mac, only one new. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the Endgame Mod Hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Starting off today with something really cool. This is the Selectable Build Capacities Pack from GH66 Mods. What this is, is it includes modified versions of all the base game bailers and some bell wrappers, as well as some bell trailers that allow you to make bells of two, three, or four times as large as they normally would be. Uh, the increased capacities that are displayed in the controls window of the HUD, meaning that when you come in here and select things, well, it's gonna look exactly the same because it well, kinda is. And even off to the left-hand side, you see 125 through 184, and then the wrapped bells there as well. Uh, Round bells, square bells, they're they're all in here. You can see this one actually says 244 centimeters, where base game says 240. Um, I don't I don't think we really need to pay attention to that. Nonetheless, uh, this is pretty cool, and I want to show you how this works because I think it's awesome. Anyway, let's go over all the pieces coming with this. So we have the Arcusa four stack. We have the FSX, which holds uh, was that 14 bells. Then we got the baby bell box thing where it takes 14 baby bells and makes one big massive bell. Then we've got uh, your stuff from the Anderson pack and then all through here. I'm not even sure I need to do this. All base game stuff, all of it. All right, so here we've got it set up and I actually looked at the capacities up there at the top left hand corner and they mean something a little bit different. So, of course, we're used to 180, 220, and 240. These are all your standard regular bells, at least for square bells. Then we go into 182. The two at the end actually means that it's two times more than the normal 180. And then same thing for all those. And then a three at the end is three times, and then four at the end is four times. So naturally, I want to make the largest bell. This is going to take a long time to test all of these together, so we're just going to make the largest bell and be done with it. Oh, I'm not even sorry, not even a little bit. So let's come through here. Now remember, this is an all-platform mod. This is not just PC, and I'm actually using a base game tractor as well. I think a lot of people forget that there's some really cool options on the Case Magnum. So here we are, uh, 10,000 liters now, and we're only 30% done. Oh man, 40% at about 15,000 liters right there. It's gonna take a little while. On our way back the other way, and I'm almost down to the end again, and I haven't actually made a full bail yet. Here we go, uh, 90, 91, 92%. It's already up to almost 34,000 liters. Get out of here, man. Look at this. So there's 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, and I'm gonna kick it out, and let's see if we can see exactly what it is. So, oh man. 36,000 liters, at least of straw. Of course, that's gonna be a little bit different for grass, hay, silage, whatever. Um, but man, that's one bale. Remember, you do need the uh, included bell handlers to get this, but uh, I think it'll be all good. So, say how much it weighs. Mass 430 kilograms, that can't be right. Anyway, uh, check it out. What a cool mod. Next up, we got the mod that was shown off at the beginning of the video. The Class Torian 1914. This is pretty sweet. From the HR Forest, uh, this is the one that I showed you guys that has the Dev Mule option. It's so very cool there. We also have a standard version as well. And if we go down to the bottom, you can see we do have color options for these. So you don't have to make it just like cloth green you can make it all kinds of colors there's so much stuff all foster colors rim colors cabin colors main color seat color lettering on the background covers what it's a whole bunch of stuff if you go into the dev mule a lot of those do disappear so just a heads up there what brands include trelleborg michelin tires continental midas bkt and freinstein and you can change a few of those up if you want to forgot to mention this is 14 slots on consoles will window tinting yes or nope Beacon light, we've got a couple different designs on the top, back there. We even have a clear strobe, so that's cool. Front fenders, yes or no? I don't think I've ever seen an option for that before. That's pretty cool. Engine setup, so you have a 228 horsepower. You also have a 280 horsepower. And then if you go with the dev mule, you can actually change up the all foster colors and the seat colors. In order to get those tires, you will need to go over to, I believe it is, yeah, these right here. And you can change up that color to, well, 
literally all of them. Another Kloss mod, this is the Kloss Crop Sensor. This is from Vertex Design. It was on the mod testing list earlier today, but it is out now. A uh, simple mount front uh, sensor. They released this back at Farming Simulator 19, so this is not just a rebrand or anything like that. This is their mod, and we've had it before, but fortunately it was PC only. Now it's for everybody. It goes 11 miles per hour. You do have some warning signs that you can attach to the front. Um, and right here with this, you can measure the real nitrogen uptake of the crop to apply more precise fertilizer. Very cool. We also have some new trailers from the ARM team, the Lizard trailers. Now these are actually the West debranded trailers. So if you're on console and you wanna use a West trailer, these are actually them. It just doesn't say West on it. So maybe that'll help you guys out a little bit. These are for all platforms. So PC and console players, uh, 12,900 liters, at least for the small one to start with, but we can top a silage body and it goes to 22.2. As far as wheel brands, Lizard, Trellebork, Michelin, BKT, and Verizon Tires. We also have some reflector setups on here as well. So if you guys are looking for those, well, you got them. Designs, we have all fenders, none, only the back, and then back to all cover. Yep, you can throw that on there if you want to as well. Main color, you can change up this. Let's go with a red, nice. And the rim color, we'll go with a black. Now, unfortunately, just like a, quite a few other ARM mods and some other modders out there as well, the hubs are not changing. Uh, a little bit annoying is what it is, so just be aware of this ahead of time. We do have the 12-ton uh, trailer as well. This is going to be up to 15,300 and 27,000. All customization options are the same. It slot counts for the smaller versions, four and four for the larger version. If you're looking for some new sheds, well, maybe these are it. This is the 10 by 12 Ilm shed. They're metal sheds with three different colors. You got a red, you have blue, and you've got green. There's also three different designs here, so I decided to just kind of pull one from each. You can see one has a back, but no sides. One has no sides whatsoever. The other one has sides and the back. We even have this really, really nice metal color around. Taking a look at it, nice and worn. Looks good, man. Uh, not too expensive at all. 15,000, 20,000, and 25,000 from right to left. Nice and easy. Your next to last new mod because um, a mod got removed, but I don't know what mod it was because I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I guess now there's seven new mods for all platforms instead of eight. Nonetheless, here's one that is here. This is the wash station from Missy B Modding. So we've got a little version there and then we've got a double, ye, double version right here. How cool is that? So if you're running multiplayer or something like that, you just grab a hold of it and you're good to go. Uh, yep, two placeables, boop, little one, and then much, much larger one, like that. And your last new mod for all platforms is the free fuel. Does the sight of your diesel bill upset you? I'm sure it does a lot of people in the world right now. Well, at least in Farming Simulator, it doesn't have to. Free fuel, don't need to say more about it. Here it is, you've got four different models of it. You will need to uh, download the mod, and you will need to use the special tanks for it, but we do have special tanks for it, nice and easy. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, they're expensive, 285 grand. How did I just see that? Oof. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. And I wanna show you this one real quick. This is the agricultural input production. This is the mod that was removed from the mod hub. It's from Design Farming. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but you can see the screenshot of it right there at the very bottom of the list. Actual mod updates for all platforms start here. The Maxi Ball Spike and Pliers from Fred Monning. It's gonna be version 1.1. The addition of the wrapping pliers or straw lib. Don't know how to say that word. Omatana's got an update to her open air garden. This is going to be version 1.1. And holy cow, it is a big update. Four additional types of crops to grow in the garden. You got sugar beets. Oh, yeah. You got corn. Oh, yeah. Soybeans and cotton. Uh-huh. The wooden boxes from the six special types of fruit in the garden weigh only 190 kilograms and can be carried by hand to supply several gardeners or greenhouses. There's a new distributor object that works like a production chain. So you have to fill this distributor with water and if necessary, seed, fertilizer, or manure, and then you can supply all gardens with it. Note, the output production must be set to distribute for the distribution to work. For free water, there's a small garden pump that can be placed next to the garden for the distributor. Oh, that's so cool. Also, uh, I got to meet Omatana at FarmCon last week. 
She is super cool. Next update for all platforms today is the Gold Crest Decoration Pack from Puma145 is going to be version 1.1. They've added a house from Gold Crest Valley. Old Wooden Barn got an update from Matty J Mods. It's going to be version 1.1. Improved textures, minor fixes, specular map added, tip collision has been fixed, and optimization improved. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Grain Quid Storage from Missy B Modding. This is going to be version 1.1. Point two reverted back to the original silo configurations. And your last new one today, or last mod? I don't know. This is the only one for PC and Mac players. The Cranky Radio from Deza. This is cool. So they say, can't hear your favorite songs over the noise of your combine. Well, need to rock out a little bit more while plowing? Tired of wrecking your simulator feelings about needing to click through the menus just to turn the radio up? Well, well, now uh, you just need Cranky Radio. It provides customizable key bindings for radio volume and allows for radio volume to be over cranked in 22 steps from zero all the way to 11. They <laughs> say careful, author not responsible for hearing, equipment damage, distortion, etc. from over cranking. <laughs> I love the little smiley face with the LOL. That's great. Uh, default key bindings radio up. This is going to be left control, left shift, and U. And then the radio volume down is left control, left shift, and the letter J. Very cool. Well, guys, that is it for today. That is all of your new and updated mods for Farming Simulator 22. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoM fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos. You're on the channel. Facecam will be returning in about a week or so. There's still a few things around the house that I'm getting sorted. Uh, and a few things are not working the way they did when I left. So I'm going to figure all that out. Otherwise, take a look and uh, farm some news. We released that earlier today. Link in the first pinned comment. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. See you later. Peace.